Hello friends, welcome. Happy Friday to you. Welcome to a very special stream. Why is it special? Well, because I haven't streamed solo for quite a while. So here I am. And uh, why else? Well, because Two Point Campus is uh, launching a new DLC called Space Academy, which couldn't be more pandering to my special interests and I appreciate you for it. Two Point Campus. So, hello everyone, welcome. How am I looking, how am I sounding? I'm my own, I'm my own tech crew today. So, uh, and it's been a while, so let me know. Uh, what else did I want to say? Uh, welcome to December, everybody. It's practically Christmas. We've nearly made it to the end of another blasted year. So congratulations, everybody. Well done. We've done it, friends. We've very nearly done it. Okay, chat, Alex Wright. Says Jane, the people have to know, will this be a sequel or prequel spin-off for Dr. Bobby and Dr. Nora's love affair? You know, I haven't decided on the um, the kind of law continuity. What year does this take place in? I guess we'll figure it out as we go. We're going to be training up some astronauts today at Universe City, which is the first of the three new levels that the Space Academy DLC adds to Two Point Campus. In fact, I can show you um, if I just go to the actual game. Here you go. Uh, University is uh, number one, and then Cape Shrapnel is level number two, and Cheesy Heap Delta Rai is an off-world map, which you can, I mean, you can see the rocket there, but also, the, yeah, there's a, a sort of Mars-looking base, like a space colony that you get to build a campus on later. But first of all, we have to get a star in Universe city and I'm gonna get started imminently just as everyone uh, gets in position makes themselves comfortable for this very sudden Friday stream we weren't sure we'd have time and then we did have time which is why this is kind of coming in hot all of a sudden uh, what else do I have for you today okay chat says everything looks and sounds good fantastic what about the discord over in the official discord I've got my eye on you there is of course uh, the space gif there we go, classic. And um, some appreciation for the jumper, thank you. I thought I would put on something cozy to kind of to kind of capture the cozy vibe I'm going for here on a Friday. Just before the stream started, I was just vibing to this. Can you hear the music all right? Can you hear the Two Point Campus music? I was just sitting here vibing to the Two Point Campus gentle, gentle music. And there's a little bit of like ocean sounds there in the background. It's very ASMR, for me, for me it is. Okay, Discord, yeah, I see you. Everyone's trying to hide themselves in the official OX Supporters Club Discord. Yeah, look normal, they say. I can see you. <laughs> right, thank you to the official Discord. To space, says Ethan Blomquist in the chat. Okay, let's get going in just one more moment because I do have a message for you. Pinned at the top of the chat says, new in the store, our first ever hoodie is part of the Oxventure Legacy of Dragons mini collection. And it's true, it is. In fact, I can show it to you right now. Hang on. I'm gonna do with this camera view it's entirely too big and you can't see the game behind me but I saw some people in the chat saying where's Big Jane so I thought let's let's have Big Jane there may come an opportunity to have Big Jane if I need to you know hold forth with one of my many strong opinions but let's wait and see let's just go for like regular corner Jane for now okay uh, give me a minute in the chat says hey Jane hope you have a fun stream I'm off to a concert so I can't stay but wanted to say hi and share the love well enjoy your concert um I wonder I wonder who it is if you have time let us know which concert you're going to <laughs> some appreciation for big Jane um yeah well that's that's for you my gift to you on a Friday so let's let's play this G Dan game um there's probably some people who are like yeah this is all great Jane but um what about the actual game so I'm playing this for the first time. It does say restart, but that's because I just wanted to check everything was working. So let's let's play it from 
the beginning. Let's go to Universe City, which is the first of the Space Academy levels. So there's new space-themed courses, academic courses to teach, new kind of decorative stuff for your campus, and yeah, three new levels. Now, here is where I have actually turned off the game's narration, which is delightful, but um, but I wanted to talk over it myself, so uh, so there won't be any won't be any chat now from the game. But I want you to have a look at all the things we're going to be building. We're going to be building giant geodesic domes like they have at um, Epcot, and uh, yeah, maybe a fountain with a space shuttle on top of it. Who knows? Who knows what else? Um, I imagine it's going to be like if uh, the Kennedy Space Center was also a university campus. Okay, off to Space Champ. The Two Point Space Program is far, far away from its golden years when rockets lit up the news and astronauts were semi-famous. Like B-list actors you don't even recognize. Oh, damn. Damn, that, but that stings, Two Point Campus. Back in the day, University was a bustling facility with non-stop foot traffic, but now it's a dusty, forgotten, and unprofitable. Revive the Institute, oversee the introduction of cosmic expansion, the future of domestic space travel. Okay. And land safely in the dawn of the second space age. Okay, so we're gonna be, I guess, trailblazing our way into commercial space travel, but in a non-kind of billionaire-led sort of way, we're gonna be teaching astrology which is not required for astronauts, IRL, and also cosmic expansion, which I guess is the key to commercial space travel here in Two Point County. And here we have Captain Cushion. Oh, right, yes, he's a sort of, I guess a kind of William Shatner parody character. I'm actor Roderick Cushion, but you may know me as TV's Captain Cushion. My time playing a science fictional character has made me an official expert on all things cosmic, well, not exactly, but if you can get people excited about space again, then they'll definitely commission another series of my show. So I'm here to offer my expertise. Sounds like an expert to me. They say the Institute is sinking financially. When a similar thing happened on the show, we jettisoned low ranking crew members into space. It worked a treat. Okay, I don't like where you're going with this, Captain. Let's start by lightening our load for the good of the campus and all the important characters with actual dialogue. That's fairly ominous. Okay, so I'm gonna pause just cause I don't want the game getting away from me. Apparently my first objectives are heartbreakingly to fire five teachers and sell three computer labs, which is not the kind of um, futuristic idealism I wanted to come into this DLC with, but we do what we gotta for the good of the, for the, good of the student body. So we're gonna have to fire five teachers. Damn, in this economy, harsh, right. I'll take a little look at my campus while we're here. Okay, so here's the parking lot. A lot of buses and coaches, uh, some sort of tube here and uh, rockets actual rockets or very good big model rockets perhaps um, a hangar of some description a big um, a big uh, ring shaped donut building here and yeah the geodesic domes that I love so much but here are the actual campus buildings here are we gonna have lectures and libraries and student accommodation and such and such right everyone got that chat all on board Bustin Arant says, fire those teachers, woo! Get rid of the astrology teachers, says TVA113. Okay, hmm. That sounds like every takeover or merger I ever experienced, says Donald Gow. Yeah, it's grim, isn't it? It's uh, a sobering start to Space Academy here in Two Point Campus. Is this where the Kerbals come from, says Edward Ling. Yeah, it could be. We might be training some Kerbals. There are new student types and some of them are actually aliens. So who knows, maybe a Kerbal among this. Frost and Fist says Jane starts this episode with an iron fist. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. I imagine myself as a kind of campus boss, but the campus is basically like Wayland Utani, um, the university. So we're gonna gonna create some astronauts to go into space and harvest me some xenomorphs, which means we have to start by firing some teachers, which is personnel management. I remember how to play this game. How dare you? I certainly remember how to play Two Point Campus. And then we go to our existing staff, and then we find the underachievers who we are going to fire. I feel terrible about this. Please don't fire teachers, but for the purpose of this game, I'm going to. Right, um, 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 okay. This is a, Ralph Chutney is a research dude and, um, and research is not our focus right now. So I'm very sorry, Ralph, but uh, where are you? There you, is that you? There you go. I'm sorry, but you are fired. Goodbye, uh, not sent on a break. Put you in the trash can. 
I've been planning on quitting my job and becoming a street performer, says Ralph, so maybe this is just the push I needed. On an unrelated note, does it count as juggling if you're only using the one ball? Oh no. Oh, Ralph, I think you're going to be fine. I lied. Sorry, Ralph, you're out of here. Okay, four more, four more teachers. Okay, um, well, well, you teach astrology and you teach cosmic expansion, which are two courses I'm definitely gonna need. Oh, here we go, Milo Hawk is also a research focused academic here at university. So um, I'm gonna get rid of you, I'm afraid. Goodbye. It'll be the money that I miss the most, says Milo, I reckon. If I, I was fairly indifferent about the rest of it, if I'm being honest. Okay, well, no big loss then. He didn't have the love for the job that I demand and require. So goodbye, Milo. Three more, everybody. Um, now it's getting hard. So, okay, you're Mickey Phantom. You're a researcher slash uh, cosmic expansion teacher. So we're gonna get rid of you. I'm sure that you think you're sure about this, but are you sure that you're really sure about oh mind games, mind games from Mickey? And if so, are you sure that you're sure that you're sure just checking? Now that is a great way to talk me out of doing something, but right now I've got an iron will and I'm firing you. So goodbye. How many was that? Three? Four? <laughs> I want to say that was three, so let's get rid of two more. We're not gonna have any teachers left. Dang, um, okay. Okay, I like Mini Underdriver because that's a reference that I get. So, Sebastian White, you've got similar, similar, um, well, I don't know, but you've got private tuition skills, so not sure about that. Okay, Ian Basket, you're a researcher. You can go. Where are you, Ian? I can't see you. There you are. Okay, let's get rid of Ian. Sorry, Ian. I had one last repayment to make on my house, says Ian. Sigh, looks like it's back to the forest for me. Well, good luck, Ian. Um, hope you do well out there on the jobs market. And... Let me just check how many more we need. Um, if I unpause the game for a second, let the game catch up. Oh no, oh no, oh Ian. Oh, he's having a tantrum. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, get out of it. Get out of it, bookworm. Now I'm sure I just fired more than a few teachers, but the tracking only says I fired one. So did I not do that right? No, I did that right. Did I? Did I fire non-teachers? No, they were definitely all teachers. Okay, I think the game's just taking a little while to kind of catch up. Okay, can you cheese this game like Two Point Hospital asks Mr. M Binder in the chat? Like with research generating pretty much instant free money with loading up a different level to do the research while time stands still in your current level. I mean, I actually don't know. I haven't, I haven't played a great deal of it lately and I don't try and cheese it because um, you know, I play it properly like a good, like a good person. <laughs> But that sounds feasible. It does sound feasible. Like you possibly could do that, right? Okay. Let's uh, let's pause up again and take stock of what we actually have. We've got a big teachers' lounge here. That's cool. And this is the library, which is pretty sweet. Over here is um, oh, this is a dorm. Yeah, it looks like a dorm. It's got a lava lamp, and then there's a bathroom with some shower cubicles in it. That's good. And wait. Hang on. Oh, it's a marketing office. It's not a dorm after all. Okay, so we've got marketing and and we've got a library. And over here we've got like a tuition office. Yeah, a private tuition office. This is a computer lab. Oh, we've got a lot of computer labs. We've got computer labs for days, everybody. And another one. Okay, so I guess the concept is we're repurposing a kind of massive computer laboratory for... Um, for a more current academic institution. Uh, here's our, here are our dorms for our future astronauts. The astronauts of the future sleep in these very beds. Oh, one of them's got, one of them's got one of those plasma balls. Sweet. And this is the student lounge. This is a medical office. Great. We're going to need one of those for all the astronaut injuries that <laughs> we're going to encounter. And a shower room and another dorm. Okay, we've got a good number of dorms. Good number of bathrooms. Cool. Okay, it's not too bad. Now if we go back to the game, it still thinks I've fired not that many teachers. Maybe research assistants don't qualify as teachers because they don't do actual teaching. I have no idea. All right, well, let's fire some more of you people anyway. Uh, D vibes, looking for work. Yeah, you will be after I fire you. Goodbye. And Sebastian, if I fire all these teachers, I'm gonna have one teacher left over. 
All right. I'm going to check in with your Discord. How long till we get the Death Star, says Ken Doyle 659 I assume that is the end game, is that I can I use my astronaut students to construct myself a Death Star, which is the end point of just about all, um, well, all Star Wars, certainly, if, uh, if nothing else. Right, well, let's start by selling some computer labs, because... Oh, I see, it was counting up, not counting down on the fire five teachers, and now I've, count I've fired five bloody teachers. Great. Well, that's objective one scratched off. And now we have to sell three computer labs. Okay, well, we've got four, so let's get rid of the big one. Uh, that'll save me some space. Sell this for 34,000 bucks. Oh, look, we've got a little gym. I mean, astronauts do need gyms. They've got to be in the peak of physical fitness, so uh, that's why you need a... Um, a single basketball ring there, and but what else? Which other? Let's get rid of this computer lab. That's also quite large. Yes, and we're going to be left with a single computer room, like so. Great, we're done. We're getting there. How you doing, chat? You okay? Good. Nebula questions. They say space is the great unknown, says Captain Cushion. Well then. Research is the thinking man's solution to everything we don't yet know. Are you going to tell me to get into research now? Because I've just fired all my researchers. The Institute is certain that a booming research department, oh no, is key to a successful space programme. Completing commercial research is a great way to make extra cash. Well, now you bloody tell me. Fine. I'm going to build a level four research lab and I have no staff available to do research. So that will be a problem for future me. Um, let's... um. Let's get some researchers involved. Oh, maybe this could be the origin story for um, for my Two Point Hospital romantic doctors. Uh, I can imagine they started as, as some kind of researchers before they moved into medical science, perhaps. Anyway, um, let's build a research lab. Mm, mm, mm. Research lab. Level four. Okay, level four means it's going to have to be quite big and well equipped and have lots of, you know, facilities. Uh, where am I going to put it? Am I going to put it over here? No, I'm going to keep it in the block with the computer uh, labs. So, mm -mm. is that big enough to kind of eventually get it to level four? Maybe. Uh, let's try it. Let's see. Okay, now what do we want to put in our research lab? Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, yes. Well, first of all, we'll need a door and then we'll need one of these dealies a research station and a computer uh, terminal of course and another computer terminal next door and uh, oh another one don't mind if I do um, um, um. okay let's have some windows for those researchers they're gonna need windows uh, some big windows and you know it wouldn't be two-point campus if I wasn't placing you know like a little trash can and a little oh it's actually quite warm Oh, there are palm trees, so I guess we're in like the two point county equivalent of Florida. So actually, we're probably going to need air conditioners more than we need um, more than we need heaters. So let's pop an air conditioner up there. And and what else? What else would be good in here? A circuit board for decoration. No, it's got to be a plant. It's got to be a plant. And oh, I can unlock things. I've got plenty of kudosh. Look at this down here. I've got like 11,000 kudosh, so I can unlock anything you fancy such as research lights which look really pretty actually there we go let's have some of those and a pie chart i mean that's inspiring for our researchers put one of those in the doorway what's this a research computer yes please what are we doing without a research computer okay it looks like a big kind of light box one of those spots one of those things you can doodle in lights on I forget what they were called. One of those retro toy things. Okay, I may be overspending because that is already a level six research lab. Uh, so let's um, let's uh, say we're done. I think we're done. It's gone very quiet. Is it? It's paused. No, we're just doing a quiet bit without music. Okay. <laughs> Voltsuen in the chat says Jane playing like the sole survivor being handed the control of the Institute in FO4. Sorry, Fallout 4. Um, oh, and a saucy little sex bot in the chat. Let me just hide you. There we go. You're done. Light bright, says Imperium. Light bright, thank you. Well done. Man, 
as as I kind of like outsource my mem- my memory and thinking to the internet and to you chat, I um I feel really good about it. I feel really good about that. And here's the music back again. Cool. All right, everybody. Okay, campus requirements. I'm going to need an anti-gravity chamber before I can start the school year, a lecture theatre, and a rocket lab. Those all sound exciting, but especially the anti-gravity chamber. So, um, I'm going to put anti-gravity... I have no idea how big an anti-gravity chamber needs to be. Uh, let's find it first. It is somewhere. Here it is. And, oh, it needs to be six by nine, which is not going to fit here, is it? So, maybe over here. Let's go... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's going to block the door for that, isn't it? So, not there either. Forget that. Um, where's a good place to put my anti gravity chamber? Oh, I guess it could kind of sit. It's huge, six by nine. Dang. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six. Huge. I mean, okay, I guess. Um, it's an awkward position. I need. I'm gonna need more doors here, otherwise no one will be able to get to the gym. Oh wait, no. There's like a skinny. Oh no, there's no skinny corridor there. Okay. Let me think about this. Maybe there's a better building to put this in. This enormous anti. No, not really. All right. Okay. Well, I've made my bed and now I have to lie in it because I built I built this computer lab like so. So um, let's just do it. Let's just do it and be legends. Okay. Let's go back to the anti. I, I'm curious to see what's in the anti gravity chamber. I wonder if it's one of those like indoor skydiving dealies or like a big tank of water. Okay. So if I start from here and then go like six by nine like so, I can move the doors on the gym. That's fine. And then uh, profit, I guess. And then we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out later. Okay. I'm gonna put a door here. Oh, this is why we needed so much blimmin' space. It's huge. Okay. Um. How how am rotate item? I thought I remembered this. I remember how to rotate the camera, but now I've forgotten how to rotate. Uh, what am keys for rotation? I have fully forgotten. Um, gosh, it's been a while. Is it? I, I uh, if I was playing on a controller, it would be on the on the bumpers, I think. Oh well, just delete the gym and redo it, says Mr. Embinder. It's pretty standard that you have to start with deleting everything because the original planning is terrible. It's true. It's true. All right. Okay. All right, I like, I like that plan. I like that plan where we rebuild the gym or at least move the gym. What I could do is just pick it up and move it. So if I moved it somewhere a bit less annoying, like over here, for instance, eh, like that. Okay, that'll do for now. That'll be, that will be quicker for now. Click and drag for rotate. Mm, click and drag for rotate. Yeah, if you, mm, yeah. all right. No, you're right. You are right. You're right. I'll figure it out. Let's get there. Back to the anti-gravity chamber. Why is the gym so upset? Why is there a... Why is there an exclamation point on the gym? What's wrong? What, what is wrong with you? Oh, you're nothing but trouble, Jim. Just like in real life. Fine. Never mind. I'll figure it out later. Anyway, anti-gravity chamber. I'm going to pop you in the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. By one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, right. That was the problem. I'm going to do it this way instead then. Six by nine, like so. And then I'm going to put the door, put the door here. And I'm going to um, click and drag. Of course it was click and drag. There we go. So this is our, what do we call this? The anti-gravity simulator. Cool. Looks fun. Can't wait to see that in action. Uh, we've got the door. You might need a little waste paper basket. Maybe if you were nauseous after an anti-gravity session. Uh, Aircon? It's kind of yellow around here, so hot but not inhumanly hot. 
Um, I'm gonna pop up some of these anyway. And gonna need some windows. Okay, it's currently a level two. A level two anti-gravity chamber. Uh, uh, uh. What else? A plant. A plant. Okay, what can we unlock that would be good in here? Oh, space plants. Cosmic shroom. Chomp plant. Droopy plant. That looks less spacey. This shroom looks pretty spacey though, so let's have one of those. And, oh. I don't know if it's attractive exactly. It looks like something that might turn you into a Last of Us zombie. Um, but hey, if that's the aesthetic, we'll go with it. And then I'm gonna unlock the chomp plant. And you're gonna, yeah, you can live over here in our little space garden. Let's get a closer look at everything. Okay. Uh, 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 and some posters, some kind of Android poster. Kind of cool. And a poster, um, yeah, there we go. A poster like so with a wormhole on it and a rubber duck. Okay, level four anti-gravity chamber. It's cool, can't do it. There we go, there's our anti-gravity chamber. Cassandra Lopez in the chat says, getting up this morning to find a Jane live stream was the best start to the holidays. Thank you for everything you do, Jane. We all love you and your streams. Aw, thanks Cassandra. Uh, I appreciate you getting up this morning to watch a Jane stream. Um, if you're having breakfast, I hope you enjoy your breakfast. So, okay. Gym door will be blocked, says Hollis. Oh no, I think we're okay. We're fine now, we're fine at this point. Okay. Okay, what are we doing now? What's happening? Right, lecture theatre, rocket lab. Lecture theatre, easy. We all know how our lecture theatre goes. Let's get one of those. Like so. Is that big enough for Yeah, okay, we can pop a little lecture theatre in the, in the corner there. That's fine, I love that. I'm gonna do it this way around. We're gonna put the bleachers. Bleachers? Seating? Whatever. Um, uh, oh no. Oh, it's a bit of a tight squeeze. Oh, that's a squeeze. No one can get to that. Hang on. I have to rethink my layout in this very, very small lecture theatre. Okay, I'm gonna put that there, and then we're gonna put the seating, uh, well, the right way around, we're gonna put it there. There you go. Cool. Like so. It's gonna have some windows, a couple of them. Oh, no, just one. Maybe one over here. And, oh, I haven't been putting hand sanitizer anywhere. That's usually my favorite, so I'm gonna put one there. We are going to need the door so everyone can get in. Uh, waste paper basket for waste paper. And um, do we want to spend our, spend our kudos or anything fun? We've already got the Android poster. Space things, what do we got? Oh, a speaker comes with plus 3% learning. So let's put one of those on the wall. And, oh, um, the auto key. There we go. Oh, sorry. What am I doing? Oh, am I running out of money? Oh, I'm running out of money. That's no good. <laughs> okay, I've not been spending thriftily. That is that is a problem. I might have to sell the gym anyway to pay for my rocket lab. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this is fine. I tell you, this is fine. Are there gold stars in this game? Um, oh, you mean to put on the wall? I think there's an equivalent of a gold star. I don't think it's a gold star exactly. Let's have a look. Um... No, I don't want to sell items, I want to add items. Uh, items. It would be in decorative stuff, wouldn't it? Star. I don't, it's not a star, but I think there's something that is sort of equivalent. If you mean something that you can just like spam all over the walls to get your, to get your room rating up, then yes, I think so. Killjoy695 in the chat says, a Jane stream to get me through the last vestiges of flu. An excellent way to start my Friday. I'll be drinking extra for bench today. Yeah, stay hydrated. Especially if you've got the flu. In fact, I've got I've got some. Oh, I've got tea right here. So, in fact, let's all pause and just have a little have a little water. Or whatever ha you happen to be drinking this Friday. Raise prices ASAP, lol. Says Tommy Meadows. Well, I would, but actually, I haven't got any students like matriculating yet because um, I haven't started the academic year. So the only thing to do is uh, build a rocket lab before I start the school. Actually, maybe they wouldn't. I feel like I could start the school year, but there just wouldn't be um, the facilities they need to do their to do their classes. So, um, 
Let's sell the gym. Let's do it. Let's make some cash. Let's see if that's enough cash to build a rocket lab. Mm -mm. I don't think it is gonna be enough. Rocket lab needs at least. Oh no, I need another another few grand to build a rocket lab. Okay. All right. It's time to start cutting corners. Time to start selling things. Do I really need a marketing department? Am I gonna? Am I going to regret selling the marketing department? No, I think not. Let's sell the whole marketing department. There'll definitely be no repercussions to that. I mean, they say build a rocket lab, so I gotta build a rocket lab. Here we go. Rocket lab needs to be at least four by five. Easy, no problem there. Um, I'm gonna tuck you in here next to my brand new anti-gravity lab. Yeah, we'll just keep it dinky. Oh wait, hang on. I didn't take. I didn't take it at all. Oh, Rocket Lab must be placed outside. Okay. Oh, it's like its own fun, its own outside thingy. Cool. All right. Well, let's make it a little bit bigger then. Let's make it like six by five. Put it here. And then what else does it need? What are you? What is that? Some kind of. Oh, oh right, it was the, literally just the doorway. Um, here we go, some machinery. So we've added the rocket project. Oh, I see, like it's a, it's what will eventually be a rocket. This is like a primordial rocket. Can I move the door? I would feel better if it was like centered. There we go, fine, good. Um, so we're outdoors, hey? What else would look good in a rocket? Rocket Lab. Actually, I got, I'm, I'm tight for money, so maybe I should just play it safe for now. There we go. Oh, cool! Oh, it's like in a sort of enclosure, a little compound, not not a building at all. Nice. All right, so we're gonna build a rocket, and then we're gonna go to the moon, and then I'll have invented commercial space travel. It's that easy. Oh, we got a little space buggy over here. Cute. Right. I think that's all the basic requirements to start the academic year. Let's manage our courses. We're going to be teaching cosmic expansion and astrology. Great. I'm going to confirm that. Oh, can I not confirm that? Changes will become active next year. Oh, this is red. Why are you red? Okay. There we go. Right, done. Right. What is the problem here in the library? Oh, assistant required. We need a library assistant to work in the library and we need a uh, first aid assistant to work in the medical centre. Ugh, stuff. Okay, um, let's do that before we start the school year. Let's find a library assistant. There are no library assistants. I mean, I guess I need people who work in the library. This is a marketing assistant. Well, no, not you. Normal, you're gonna work over here. Oh, okay, you, you were on your way. Well, in that case, now you can be the librarian, Missy. So, eh, there you go. I think we're ready. I think we're finally ready half an hour into the stream to start the academic year. Hooray, everyone. Take a drink. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, have I missed anything in the chat? Well, lots of things. Bustin' around says, can the students just work for free like in real life? Oh, no, no, also I need teachers. I can't just have students. Right, uh, Madison Kirkpatrick says, thank you for the much needed stream. This week has been awful. My aunt is in the ICU. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Madison. I hope, um, hope your aunt is feeling much, much better very soon. That sounds serious, um, but uh, I'm thinking of you, thinking of her. Cool. Um. Let's press on, okay? Let's press on. Do I want to start the following year with the following courses? Yeah, of course I do. Um, go. Meanwhile, Captain Cushion says, recently the county has been positively peppered by funny little meteors. The other day, one of them almost took my face off. Okay, finding out what they are and what they're coming, where they're coming from is the campus's top research priority. Crunch that data science, people. Let's make some money. All right. So that's how we're gonna make the bucks, is with um, 
uh, research department, research lab. Well, we've got the research lab here, and I can assign them the project of strange meteors, right? Strange meteors, here we go. Rewards, 80,000 bucks. Green light fee, 1,000 bucks. I can afford that, just. Um, and I do have a researcher. Sebastian White is doing the research for me. Fantastic. Now, oh look, my students. Here they are. My strong, strong students, future astronauts. Oh look, this one brought, brought her own astronaut clothing from home. Whoa, this wardrobe's full of space. I love it. Dang. Oh no. Okay, so one of my students been gone to space Narnia. Um, oh, and uh, some sort of big banana in there now. Right, let's stop invading our students' privacy. These guys are more in hazmat suits than astronaut wear per se. But who am I? Who am I to tell them what to wear? And then we've got some hanging out in the common room. The common room looks a bit empty, actually. We could probably improve the student lounge, but money is tight, so let's not do it just yet. Where is everyone going? Off to a lecture, I expect. <laughs> Edward Sablan in the chat says, in the words of the great philosopher DJ Khaled, another one Jane did. Oh. Okay, research is ongoing. Oh, I didn't realise I put that light bright so far forward. Let me just... Oh, it has to be. It has to be not against a wall. We got the report back on those meteors. It turns out they're full of a valuable cheese-like substance that explains the smell. Intriguing. It's amazing what you can do with research. Remember, your research department is like your ship's engine or its shields or something else the campus doesn't actually have. That's how important it is. Gotcha. It's important. Okay. University is all about commercial projects. Got to make the money. Business time. Generate new commercial projects by allowing staff to work freely in a research lab. Okay, so you have to give your academics, your professors, their own research time and improve the room prestige of research labs by putting a light bright in, which I already did. So I don't even, I don't, don't even sweat it. Oh look, the, um, the anti-grav lab is underway and it appears to be a big fishbowl. Yeah, okay. You can, train us, you can train astronauts in a sort of diving pool. I guess it's a, it's a little bit like being weightless. Not entirely. Oh, this guy's really cold because he's standing next to the air conditioner. Let's um, let's sell that. That's probably too too cold for you in here, is it? I think they're fine now. Okay, so this guy's gonna drown. No, nope, he's fine. He's fine, everybody. And that was his anti-gravity training. Well on the way to becoming an astronaut. Meanwhile, how's this lecture going? What are we learning? Oh. Probing aliens, I think. No mice. What is going on here? Oh, this is a cosmic expansion class. So this is where we um, master commercial space flight. Um, this is about mining asteroids for cheese or something. Okay. We've got nearly a full house on the students. So that's good attendance. And the research lab is looking very disco. I could use one of these... Could use one of these in my own home for my sort of YouTuber lifestyle background. Mm -mm. Okay. Right, average, average dormitory rating needs to be 85% and we're on 68%. So we can probably improve that. Let's, oh. Okay, we've got some A's and some F's results wise. Okay, the toilets need attending. Which probably means we need a janitor, doesn't it? How many janitors have we got? None! That's the wrong number of janitors. We're gonna need some of those. Uh, let's hire a janitor right quick. Or there'll be no toilets for anybody. Um, janitors, please. Uh, which of you are the best at janitoring? Norma? You seem good. Okay, okay. Oh. I'm all at the wrong end of the campus. Would you please do something about these toilets, please, for me, Norma? Thank you. Okay, meanwhile, showering meteors. Here comes some of those meteors they were talking about. If your research is correct, there are valuable materials inside. What next? What would Captain Cushion do? He'd probably send someone that isn't crucial to the plot to avoid unnecessarily devastating casualties. Try that. Okay. Well, everyone brace for a meteor shower. 
There's gonna be space rocks. Everyone get inside. Get to cover. Here they are. Oh. Glowing space rocks. Now. Call the janitor. I guess the janitor's gonna harvest this space rock? Norma, where are you? Hurry. Hurry, Norma. Right. Faster, Norma, faster. Okay, okay. Well, okay. Norma is harvesting the space rock. And what are we getting? What's going on? Okay, this is gonna take a while to just kind of chip it away to nothing. Oh no! Sickness! Oh no, that's not sickness. I thought they were I thought they were germy, but in fact they're having a lovely conversation, so it's fine. Everyone, don't panic. Stand down. Oh! Money came out! There was money inside it! Great. Okay, we've harvested the precious space minerals. And this person is cross because they need a records cubicle. Okay, let me pause and deal with this angry student. We need a records cubicle for the library. That seems doable. Let us add items to the room. Where's the old records cubicle? Textbook, study, bookcase, records. All right, we got money now, we can afford it. There you go, records cubicle. Good and fine. And unpause, no, and here we go, play, press play. All right, let's check the mail. Um, Monthly profit, fine, fine. Inbox, the inbox zero? Wow, I haven't had inbox zero since 2004, I think. Right, what, what, what are we doing, what are we doing? Raising the uh, average dormitory rating, raising the average B plus grade in astrology. Okay. Let's make the uh, dorms nicer. I think we can do that, no problem. Uh, uh, uh. I'm just gonna pause while I do this. So, not corridor items, dormitory items. Let's add some some fun dorm things. Do we have any fun astronaut dorm items in the expansion in the DLC? Mm -mm. Rainbow rug. What looks spacey? What would a what would a future astronaut enjoy? Posters? One of those like motivational posters? Yeah, okay. Everyone needs motivation. Okay, let's do that. One of there. Increasing the room prestige slightly. What else would. Here's a graphic poster. Yeah, one of those. Cool. Uh, I want cheap room prestige. What else? What else have we got? That's kind of a sciencey themed poster, cell poster. You can have one of those. And I'm gonna put it over someone's bed because they're really into cells. There we are. And a DNA poster, also sciencey. Could be a xenobiologist if you're an astronaut. That could be your speciality. Um, mm -mm -mm. back to the regular stuff. Regular stuff. We could have. Oh, we got plenty of wardrobes in there. Got plenty of desks. I am going to say let's have a pin board, eh, like that, some hand sanitizer by the door, keep everyone nice and healthy, and a terrifying space plant right next to somebody's bed. Ah, that's so ugly, <laughs> so ugly and scary. Well, it's there now. Uh, room prestige is four and a tiny, tiny bit away from five, so let's throw in... Uh, a rug or something, that'd be cozy. Let's get this one. Oh, that's a marketing rug, not a purple rug. There we go. A rug under your bed. There we go, fine. Done. Okay, unpause. Okay, our dormitory rating has just surged 78%. So now let's just do that for another room. And, and, um, and then we'll be good. We'll be good and fine. Um, 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 not build. Build. Bye. Yeah, okay. I love to point. That's gonna go there. Hand sanitizer next to the tower. Hand sanitizing stations are kind of like the benches of Two Point Campus um, for me. Because benches are not really as required 
in a campus. Not as much waiting around. Okay, everyone gets everyone gets a nice rug. Or well, this person does anyway. Um, this person does also. And motivational poster, sure why not? And a graphic poster over here. And we're looking at Room Prestige 4. I think we could do a little better. We do a little better. Here's like some kind of pop star poster. A cell poster next to that. And mm -mm -mm. bedside table? No, not really. Drawers. Yeah. Everyone needs storage. Everyone needs more storage. Oh. Oh no, it can't. They can't. They can't sit in front of the posters. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Well, in that case, let me move these. You over here. Um, you over here. And then, and then, and then I say, and then we go here, and we go here, and we're gonna pop you down there. Okay, and I think we can make it to Room Prestige 5 if we squeeze in just like one more item, one more little item, and it's going to be another rug. Um, another rug oh, over here, underneath this desk. Done! Okay, good. That should have a set for dormitories. Unpause. Normal speed. Great, 87% dormitory rating. How are you doing, chat? Some guy sitting down in the chat says, just because I love a chill stream with Jane. They don't happen often enough. Big hug. Oh, big hug to you. Hope you've had a good week, everybody. Um, it's been real busy here at Outside Xbox and Outside Extra. And also, our new YouTube channel, Oxventure. Um, okay, we're having a little meteor shower, but don't panic, everybody. It's going, it's going to be fine. I can't believe how much you're panicking. In fact, because there's money in their space rocks, what I should do is maybe like hire another janitor to help me harvest the money out of them. Let's grab another janitor. Uh, Ruby. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Get to work. Give me some space rocks, please. Level 8 campus. Fantastic. Cool. Like I was saying, um, very busy across all three, count them, three YouTube channels. And on Oxventure, youtube.com slash Oxventure, this very evening in but, ooh, like uh, three hours time, we'll be premiering the next episode, episode eight, of the current Oxventure D&D season, Legacy of Dragons. Um, very exciting. In fact, I will, I'll throw the link in the chat there before the end of the stream so that you can, I don't know, set yourself a reminder or go and sit in the waiting area. Um, and also, hoodies, wait, hang on. If you would like to buy yourself. Go check it out if you fancy a fancy hoodie. I um I have personally worn the hoodie all of yesterday and it was very cozy. So if you're after a cozy hoodie this winter, you could do worse. You could do worse, definitely. Okay, the toilets are being fixed, but they are also quite disgusting right now. Uh, we need to up the average grade in astrology to B plus. We're currently on B. So how are we going to do that? We're going to do that more sort of. More resources? I don't know actually. I wonder. Improve grades by running classes, completing assignments, and providing private tuition. Highly trained teachers, nice environments, and better equipment, as well as general happiness. Okay. Oh, I know what you can do. Um, one of the one of the one of the entertainment items, one of the entertainment events you can run in the uh, Space Academy DLC is like you can have a sci-fi convention on campus, which sounds brilliant. But I bet to run a sci-fi convention, I'll probably need to build a student union, and I don't have one of those yet. So uh, we'll get there, though. We'll get there. Um, I reckon I should hire an astrology teacher who is really good, or maybe train an astrology teacher to be really good. Um, and uh, get another teacher in here. That might help. Okay, mining space rocks. We will do that as and when. Look, here's a space rock. Oh. 
Here's a space rock and it's getting mined. Great. And 250,000 bucks from research. Where's my researchers? Are you researching anything right now? You lazy researchers. Start a new project. No, they're not, is the answer. Um, okay. Oh, this is an astrology thing, isn't it? Okay. Okay, yeah, this is astrology related. It's an astrology research project, though. Okay, do that. Get on with it. Check my inbox. Kevin Pilchard. Uh, wants us to screen a sci-fi film. That's a great idea. Let's set up that event. Sci-fi film. Schedule the event. That's going to take place in one of our lecture halls, which is, what well, we only have one lecture hall. I suppose I could build another lecture hall. Um, 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 what else is in the inbox? Space bench wanted. Oh my god, there's a space bench? Yes, please. I want to unlock the space bench. Let's take a look at this. This new modern marvel. Whoa, okay, it's like a very invalid room. Oh, it has to be, it's an indoor bench, I see. It only lives indoors. Okay, let's put it, let's put it here then. Um, yeah, look at that. Oh my God, drink for bench. That's, um, mm. it's definitely the kind of bench you'd have in the background of some kind of sci-fi movie set. So look at these, oh, look at these green non-space benches. They make me sick. Let's get rid of them. Get out of here. Space, non space benches. Add some more space bench. I haven't done that much. Okay, now you can wait outside the toilets on the space bench to your heart's content. <laughs> Benches in space, says Mark Clifford. Space drink for space bench. Drink for space bench? Yeah, drink for space bench. Um, cheers, everybody. Happy Friday. Well done. Welcome to this Friday stream. Get comfortable, get relaxed, get cosy. If that is available to you right now, if it is, uh, if you're in the UK, it is getting on towards quitting time, if you work a nine to five. So, um, so that's nice. If you're in the US, then perhaps it's uh, morning or mid-morning for you, in which case the weekend is on its way. So um, don't even sweat it. What are we doing? Um, oh no! The average B plus grade in astrology has now dipped to C plus. That's not good. That's not good at all. Now, 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 okay. I feel like, is there an astrology specific item for the library? Oh, here we go, yes. No, that's gastronomy. That's astrology, okay. Um, it adds 5% learning. I don't know if that's specific to astrology, but it can't hurt, right? So, what is this? That looks like internet history bookcase. Okay, fine. General knowledge bookcase. General bookcase. All right, sell that. And I'm going to add uh, an astrology bookcase, like so. Let's, um, let's put one of those there. That might help. That might help our students. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. All good, fine. What else does the in inbox say? Love bench wanted. Well, come on now. Okay, Kevin and Laura need a love bench to do their business on um, because they're friends to much more, they're becoming much more than friends. So it's gonna ruin the space aesthetic of my space campus. So I'm gonna put it somewhere out of, out of plain view. Cause like, look at those love hearts. That does not, that does not fit with um, the aesthetic I'm going for here on campus. Where can we hide this love bench? Mm, I'm gonna put it over here by the trees. Yeah, there we go. Uh, zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, now you can have your illicit friends to lovers love affair here. <laughs> Behind the toilets. Um, hey, what you get up to in your own time out of view is your business. Okay. I feel like somebody's mad at me. Is that just life or is that two point campus? Is that just regular paranoia? Oh, oh no, here's here's the one who's mad at me. He wants a basketball hoop, does he? All right, let's pause that. So I don't run out of time to give this man a basketball hoop. In fact, I think I saw this here. There we go. Brangelina Beardsley would like 
a basketball hoop, which is also going to require building a gym. Oh, I did knock down the gym earlier, didn't I? So I feel like a gym in the dorm building is actually a really nice idea. You can you know, work out near where your bedroom is. So let's build a good sized gym. Mm -hmm. I said a good sized gym, so I'm gonna add some more. Wait, I forgot how you add individual. Gosh, it's been a while. I'm a little bit rusty. Where is where is the thingy? Is that it? No, additional content. No, that's not it. I just I just want to add more room. Oh, you know what? Forget it. Can't be here all day. Okay, so basketball hoop, like so, and um um um. What else goes in your gym? Exercise bench. Let's get a static bike. Seems like good value. And a chin up bar. No, forget that. Bench press. One of those. Windows. Lovely. All glass. All glass wall. A climbing wall. Oh, that's fun. I bet I don't have space for it in this little gym though. I'll do it ne next time I build a gym. And it's chunkier, bigger, I will put a climbing wall in it. There we go. Okay, uh, that is a level three gym, and that will do for now. Cool. Alright, come at me. Health inspection results. Good and fine. Financial statement, also fine, I assume. This dude, Perry Gray, wants a cosmic expansion bookcase. Who am I to say no? So let's put one of those in here. What I can do... I can just kind of slot it in here. It's getting a bit crowded in the library, but um, but nothing. It's full of books. It's full of learning and, and knowledge. Cool. Um, unpause. Unpause. How are we doing? Okay. Okay. Still need to make lots more money from research. What are you doing over there in research? Oh, do you not have enough researchers because I fired them all? Yeah, that seems about right. Let's hire you another teacher slash researcher. Um, oh, right, you need research skills as well as astrology skills, huh? Okay. Well, well. If I hire another astrology teacher, and then I guess what I need is like a training, training department so I can teach my teachers research skills. I think that's how it goes. I need to remember that's how it goes. Okay, the um, the grade in astrology is lifting. It is improving, so that's good. That's good. Oh, someone's having some private tuition in what is the subject? Oh, it's probably cosmic expansion, isn't it? Okay, fine, 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 fine. Could build another tuition room, you know. That might help raise grades. If I copy that, uh, not not sell. Copy, please. Pop that there. We just raised uh, raised our campus level to nine. Good. <laughs> Herman Wong in the chat says, Jane, I recently uncovered a video of you saying on camera that you are not a doctor. So let me ask you, who put you in charge of a hospital? What else are you hiding? Why are you now in charge of a school? Oh no, my lies have caught up with me. I am neither a campus administrator that is qualified or a doctor. <laughs> um, I've got nothing to say for myself. I'm a total fraud. Uh, but yeah, when I have imposter syndrome, it's because I'm literally an imposter. So, um, so don't tell me not to have that. Um, 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 um. Inbox zero. Inbox zero. Okay, we're gradually making some money from research now. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. Call me crazy. I'm gonna get a teacher training room. Um, the way. They don't have to be very big. They don't have to be huge, do they? Oh, they have to be bigger than that. Okay, they do have to be a little bit huge. Training room. I'm gonna pop you in the corner. How big do you need to be? Like that big. Okay, we're gonna do some teacher training. That's exciting. Oh, wait. Is this... No, that is the right, that is the right kind of room. Sorry, I, um, I didn't recognise... Recognize the equipment for a second. There we go. And 
pop some other things in there, like some windows. There we go, window over here. And a little waste of paper basket, because you got to Hand sanitizers like the door to keep your hands clean. Um, what are you, cubby holes for the teachers? Sure, why not? A little plant, a little plant. There you go. And a little space plant to keep it company. Oh, it's so ugly though. Oh, I don't know if I, oh. I'm gonna put it, oh. Uh, mm, yeah. I'm gonna just pop you in the corner. There we go, we've got a training room now. Now we can improve our teacher's research skills. So let me go to my personnel management. Eh. Let's go to our teachers. Uh, you're an astrology teacher. Okay, Tobias Brass is, a, is an astrology teacher and is working in research, but is not qualified in research. So I'm gonna train you up in research then you'll be better at doing research and then we'll make more money from research and profit. Okay. Sky Bay in the chat says, Jane is not a doctor, she's only, whispers, a post-grad. Actually, my uh, master's was an undergrad. It was an undergrad master's, which means I did it all in like one go. It was all wedged together in like a, a super condensed four years of physics. So um, not even a post-grad. What am I doing? <laughs> Such a fraud. Okay. Um, 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 um. M Reeves in the chat says, "Ooh, first time catching a stream in a while. Here's something for the two point scholarship fund. Oh, I'll just, uh, I'll just tuck that away and make sure it gets to a deserving student." She lied. TBA one one three says, "Oh, so you're an actual imposter? I'm kind of getting a divide by zero errors with that one." Ah, oh, well, I mean, we're all imposters in our own way. What you've just got to remember is, if you're faking it, so is everyone else, and. Uh, that's just the way the game is played. So let's let's all be imposters together, okay? It's fine. It's fine. Mm. Okay, Matt Willis in the chat says, Evening, Principal Jane. I'm sorry, I'm late. Do I have detention? No detentions. It's Friday. Anything goes. Wear your jeans to school. I, I don't even care. Right. We've got our B-plus grade in astrology. Fantastic. We need to mine some more space rocks. We need to make more research dollars. Otherwise, things are going pretty good. Pretty good. Someone, though, some demanding student wants a galactic arcade game. I mean, I kind of want to see a galactic arcade game. What's one of those? It looks like Connect Connect Four or something. I'm gonna put it in the. I'm gonna put it in the student like common room, uh, and then we can see someone play it and figure out what it actually is. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, that's bad. Some stinky student their bed is so foul <laughs> that it's giving off stink lines that is unacceptable whose bed is this oh it's a, it's it's only on 10 percent health that's how bad this bed is do we need some more like some more janitorial stuff don't get in it oh my oh no oh oh no you're gonna get you're gonna get some horrible diseases you get some horrible rot. Okay, we've got to do something about this. Let's hire some more janitors. I think this is something that a janitor can do. Please do something about this bed. Please. Some Febreze. Yeah, there we go. Febreze. You know it. Just, like, get that stink spray on there. Oh, that was a close one. Yeah, double, double spray it. I would. Just can't be too careful. All right, job done. Nice. Okay, now there's another another meteor shower going on. Uh, that's fine, we've got more janitors now, which means more janitors to harvest space rocks for dollars. <laughs> the purple marauder in the chat says bed rot, which I think is what we have to have to call that. Um, <laughs> Mr. Ghost says classic uni lad. And Archie Orion says that is too real. Too real. When you when you haven't changed your student duvet cover for far too long. That is bad. <laughs> uh, I know Moonbeam in the official Ox Supporters Club Discord says, who gets out of bed feet first from the bottom? You're right, that is one of the many strange things going on on this campus. If you've ever gotten out of bed fir feet first from the bottom, let us know. I want to hear about it. Tell us in the chat why, why would you do such a thing? 
Maybe if you have like a really narrow bedroom and the only way out is at the bottom. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Flat flower planter wanted. The campus grounds could do with some more plants there, I said it. I mean, yeah, sure, let's have some pretty flowers. Okay. And in fact, while we're doing the kind of decorative stuff out here, let's look for new space stuff. Oh yeah! I can have a biodome, I can have a one-eyed snake plant, okay. I can have a moon shrub, which sounds um, phosphorescent, bioluminescent, whatever. And a space cheese plant. Well, I definitely want a biodome, that's for sure. Um, let's pop some pretty biodomes down here, either side of the, uh, the entrance. There we go. Biodomes. And I'm going to have some moon shrubs. Um, can I place the moon shrubs? Over here? No. Oh. Oh, they can just grow out of the grow out of the concrete, I guess, huh? Grow out of the brickwork. Fine. Also fine. Career goal completed. Oh, I have to satisfy 100 personal goals. Oh my. Oh, I guess I did it already. Cool. Cool. Congrats to me, I guess. Park bench wanted. Oh, you students in your bench madness. Alright, now this is a basic, your basic park bench. Look, it's made out of planks. Makes me sick. It's not even a space bench. But, I'm gonna hydrate anyway. Mm. Cheers. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Cassidy Fay in the chat says, I leave feet first as my side of the bed is against the wall and I don't want to make my, wake my boyfriend sometimes. There you go, okay. A real life example of getting out of bed feet first. And yeah, it's when you're kind of <laughs> trapped. Wall on one side, partner on the other. What's wrong with the library, hey? Are you missing a... Right, let's hire another assistant. I feel like we don't have many of those. Um, Georgina Fiddle has skills in library management. There we go. And we've just completed the first academic year. A little over an hour into the stream. Let's, um, let's view our awards. Let's see how we've done. Franco Fry in the chat says, I babysat two massive Great Danes who would lay in bed with me at night. Oh, best job ever. And would get upset if I moved them, so I had to go feet first. Oh. Babysitting two Great Danes and then they also sleep in the bed with you? That's a dream job, honestly. Okay. Awards. Awards season is upon us. I've got 100% pass rates. I would expect no less from my superb students, the astronauts of the future. 78% exam results. That's like a first, right? Anything over a 70% in the UK, at least. That's a first class degree. Teacher of the Year is Percy Rainbow, who is unwisely dabbing in his school portrait photo. But he's doing great. Now I'm Percy. And uh, Campus of the Year award goes to me, University. Cool. Alright, congrats to me. We've done an entire school year. I'm going to pause while we address the year to come. Right. Um, in fact, let's not do that. Let's manage our courses. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're still going to teach Cosmic Expansion and Astrology, but we can upgrade the courses to... Uh, yeah, let's go Cosmic Expansion to level three. Confirm. Which probably means we need, yes, to build another lecture theatre, another rocket lab, and add one more astrology teacher. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Um, well, here's our rocket lab here. Can I fit another one next to it, or am I going to need more... Space. Am I going to need to unlock another plot of land on campus? I might need to do that. I've got 84,000. If I wanted to buy this plot of land, how much would that cost me? Uh, uh, uh. I don't, I don't know. Where's, where's the price? What's the price tag? Okay, well, what I was also going to try and do is if I can pick this up. Do you think I could fit another rocket lab next to this one? Maybe. Um, 
Oh, okay. Let's go duplicate this rocket rocket lab. And stick it here. Okay. It's wedged in a little. It's not exactly spacious, but it'll do. What I actually want to do is just kind of oh, inch that back a little bit. Just make a little more space around the edges so my astronauts can get around there. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh no, they've. Mm, I think that's a bug. They've sort of blended together in a way I did not intend them to. Oh no, have they just become one giant rocket lab now? No, no, this one says one. This one says three. I think it's just. I think I've just confused it a little bit. So if I do this now, is that going to fix it? Okay, no, but yes, but it's fine. It's fine. I think I maybe it's meant to look like that. Okay, cool. Um, what else do I need? A lecture theatre and an astrology teacher. Okay, let's do the teacher first. That's easy. Teachers, Max Bafford, welcome to the team. And I'm going to drop you into the lecture hall so you can get started on your first day with a lecture and another lecture theatre. Okay. Well, let's put our second lecture theatre in the same building as lecture hall one. And I feel like we could, oh, we could pop it back here actually, like there. Yeah, let's put it there. All right, like there, like this, and then oh, I've done it really again, haven't I? Uh, no, actually that might work. If I put the door, if I put the door here. There we go. Squeeze that in. Auto cue like so. Like so, and speaker on the wall. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. No space, no space, no space. Space. Window, window. Here. Uh, uh, uh. Let's make it all the way to level three on this room, like prestige. Uh, uh. I don't know. I don't know. What do we want? Whiteboard? Do I have space for a whiteboard anywhere? Yeah, that can kind of live behind the lecture, um, lecture lectern. Cool. Et voila, we're ready to start the academic year. Let's go. Um, I know I haven't spent all my courses, but I don't want to, I don't want to bite off more than I can chew. So let's go. Go Van Go says, whoa, there's a DLC. I already finished the main game last month. This is nice. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. This is Two Point Campus Space Academy. The DLC comes out for reals, for reals, on the 6th of December, which is well, next week, obviously. Uh, it comes out on all the platforms you want, except for Nintendo Switch, which comes out slightly later on the 12th of December. So if you're playing on Switch, you might need to wait. Well, you will need to wait just a little bit longer. But yeah, this is coming out really soon. Um, eh, 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 thanks, to, uh, thanks to Sega for letting us stream it a little bit early. For you folks. All right. Let's answer my fan mail. Uh huh. Uh huh. Bleep machine wanted. It's a bleep machine. Sounds good. Let's unlock it and place it. Okay. Not sure what it does, but looks cool. Let's put a couple of those in there. What else do people want? Hot dog kiosk. I mean, yeah, I guess there's nowhere else that's serving food. Let's put <laughs> let's put the hot dog kiosk next to the um, to the rocket like launch pads, and then the astronauts can get like a quick hot dog before they go to space. And we'll probably need someone to to work at that hot dog kiosk, um, right? Or is it assistance? No, it's assistance, isn't it? Assistance do that kind of thing. Uh, Stella. Go for it. Sell food and drink. Some of the grounds are top secret, so you'll need to grease their backs and scratch their palms if you want access and more space for the campus. Okay, so this is how uh, this is how I unlock more area for my campus. It's not just by buying it anymore. Campus plots. Working with the Two Point Space Program, some campus plots do not need to be bought, but they are unlocked by completing special objectives. To start unlocking plots, select a plot and select the start objective button. All right, cool. Complete and unlock 
Active plot objectives will appear alongside your other level objectives. Plot objectives can be cancelled and restarted at any time. Complete the objective to unlock the plot. Okay, great. Well, in that case, what kind of plot do I want to unlock? I mean, I guess this makes sense. It's the, it's the next adjacent bit of, bit of canvas. Okay, my objective is to train two staff members. Oh, I see. If I want the empty plot, then I need to train two staff members. If I want the objective with all the buildings, the plot with all the buildings on it, then I need to train three staff members. Well, I want, I kind of want the buildings. The buildings are cool. So I'm gonna commit myself to training three staff members. Sci-fi film wanted. Yeah, let's, let's schedule one of those. Um, in fact, while I'm here, let's see if I can... Okay. Like I say, I think in the DLC one of the new events that you can have to entertain your students is like a sci-fi convention. But I don't think I've unlocked it yet. At least it's not in here yet. But we can schedule a sci-fi film in the lecture theatre. Let's do that. Um, I think what might help me get the grades up across the board is just to make the students happier. Which maybe, maybe I should just build a student union in here. So they can have like student nights and you know blow off steam that kind of thing yeah yeah let's do that i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that um get out of here oh ivy clear and molly bungle have a burgeoning romance on the cards they say we're so close we even finish each other's you were supposed to say requests i knew we should have practiced that is adorable i feel like ivy and molly have come to my office to request a statue of love, which is a bold request for two students. Um, but I'm gonna park it out here by the love bench <laughs> where we put all the non-aesthetic sort of stuff. Things that don't fit in with the, the space aesthetic I've got going on. I do hope the students are getting over here and, for, and, and, and getting the benefit of all this like romantic paraphernalia that's kind of hidden by the tree. Oh, here we go. Yeah, look. This is like the one part of the campus that is dedicated to romance because astronauts just don't have a lot of time for that. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> Busting around says statues now, is it? Yeah. You give them an inch and they take a mile. First it's a bench, then it's a statue. Um, right, student union. That's what I was going to do. Make everyone a little bit happier. Oh no. Oh no, I don't have enough money. Well, you know how I am going to get money, is doing more research. In fact, there's... You should always be researching. Don't wait for me to tell you to research something. Just research something. All right. Um, uh, okay, this will allow me to unlock better anti-gravity simulators. This will unlock a better bar. That sounds like worthwhile research. Um... Yeah, all right. Let's, let's, since we're going to build a student union with the um, with the results, let's get a better bar. Oh wait, does that mean I don't get any money? Hang on. Start a research project, please. Uh, oh, I've lost it now. Oh, it's fine. Let's see what happens. Remind me to start another research project. Otherwise, otherwise, um, they just won't think about researching anything unless I tell them. I'm also I'm gonna save because um I haven't saved so far you know what if there was a crash now I've said it there's like 50% greater odds that there will be a crash okay okay um let's press on I am um, I'm gonna wanna hire some more people. Let's hire who have we got? You, you sir. You're really experienced in private tuition, so I feel like you're gonna do a good job of raising our game in astrology. And go. Right. There is a lecture taking place. Oh it's uh astrology again, isn't it? I think. No, cosmic expansion. Cosmic expansion. We're sort of studying some kind of alien, alien tablet from space. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. Kevin 
Tim Pilchard, him again, wants a meat wizard machine. The item is on campus, but the student cannot use the room. What? All right, well, let's place another one then. Why can the student not use the room? I don't know. Anyway, let's put one in, um, oh, in the student room. Oh, is it? Is there like an accessibility issue? Is it? Is it like? I don't know. Okay. Oh, look, someone is playing on this thing. After all, um, you can actually put arcade machines just like in a corridor. So let's pop it here. There's kind of like a nook for it. Oh no, there's not really a nook. There's one here. There you go. All right, play your heart out, Kevin. supposed to be the Rosetta Stone, says RS. I think it's kind of like an... Yeah, but it's like an alien Rosetta Stone, isn't it? It's got kind of like... alien looking... sigils on it? That's how, that's what I assume. I could be wrong. It could be a literal Rosetta Stone. Oh look! The um... the prototype rocket is getting... getting looked over. Oh, it's like a little baby rocket! Oh, it's gone to space! Whoa! Oh, we've launched a we've launched a rocket to space. I, I think it was it was uncrewed um, because I don't think you can fit a whole human in that rocket. But that's good. Making steps, baby steps towards space. Let's celebrate with some hot dogs. Hot dogs, anyone? Hot dogs? Yeah, hot dogs. I feel like what we need out here, if there's going to be a hot dog, uh, be a hot dog stand. You need somewhere to eat, don't you? you need like some. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. A picnic table. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no, I'm in debt! Oh no, everything is red! Do I take out a loan? Hmm. Do I take out a costly, crushing loan? Maybe. Maybe I do. I think I do. Do you know what? I think I dare. I think I dare take out a loan. It's only a little loan. I'm gonna do it. 50,000? done. It's that easy. And now I can buy all the picnic tables I want. Uh, wait, where were, where were they? Picnic, picnic, picnic. There we go. It's fine everyone, don't panic, it's just a meteor storm. Ah. Oh, romance. There's romance happening? Someone using the bench. Someone using the love bench. Uh, yes! Oh! Oh, they were making out in hazmat suits. For Angelina and... And who else? Hey, come back here. I'm trying to invade your privacy. For Angelina and Candida were canoodling on the love bench when there was a meteor shower that presumably disturbed them. Right, 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 right. This person... This person is hungry. Let's put some more like food provision in here. What do we got? Anything new? Anything new? Corridor items. Anything food related to the astronauts? No, not so much. Okay, in that case, let's just have let's have a ramen kiosk here and some pic picnic tables. Picnic tables. Picnic tables, please. Ah, there we go. That kind of thing. Oh, that's an indoor one, isn't it? No. Uh, picnic table, please. Oh, it's in the outdoorsy bits. Got it. Picnic table. You can have one. You can have two. There you go. Everyone come and eat ramen. And maybe some decorative stuff. Let's have some... You can't go wrong with uh, like a moon shrub. That's pretty. And why the hell not? Let's have one of these one eye snake plants. It's it looks a lot like the kind of the hero character from Spore. You know what I mean? Looks like something someone might create in Spore. Right, what am I up to? Gravity poster required. Lucille McBoatface would like a gravity poster. And I assume that goes in here in the anti-gravity training room. Yeah, easy. 
the kind of the kind of career goal I um, I can I'm all for. Easy. No, don't do that. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. No trespassing sign required. Requires rocket lab. Yeah. Can do that. And this says no entry because dangerous rockets are inside. Please do not enter. And also do not enter this place either. Good. Done. Pyro cycle required in the rocket lab. Hmm. What is a pyro cycle exactly? We'll find out. I'll put one in there. One in here. And they've both got one. Oh. oh, I think that might have been a bug. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I just misplaced it. That's fine. Statement. Yeah, fine. Astrology open day. Yeah, let's do it. Moon on a st moon on a stick requires a rocket lab. Okay, Melinda wants a moon on a stick. Oh, and it's literally a moon on a stick. Okay. I assume it's like a decorative thing. Inspirational moon on a stick. There you go. You can have one of those. You can have one of those. Career goal completed. Claim rewards. Claim rewards. Very good. Fine. And... Climbing wall! The climbing wall! I knew it! Okay. Alright, we're gonna need a bigger gym, everybody. Um, that's fine. That's fine. But if we're gonna put a climbing wall in, we're gonna need a bigger gym, so... That's... that's something... Oh, no! Oh, the, okay, hang on. This requires a pause. The dormitory rating has, has fallen steeply to 39%, and that's because we've intaken a whole bunch more students and not built any more dorms, which... That's on me, everybody. That's on Campus Boss Jane for not thinking ahead. Let's copy this dorm and that'll fit. Yeah, that'll fit nicely there. That's easy enough, isn't it? There we go. And maybe we can copy this smaller dorm as well. Is that going to fit there? Oh, it's not that small, is it? Mm, all right, I might need to do something a little bit more bespoke. Oh no, this guy, this guy, where is he? This, this, this person wants a climbing wall. And in order to have a climbing wall, I'm going to need to build a bigger gym or expand this gym. Now, no, that's not it. There we go, like that. Okay, um, mm -mm -mm. room customization, is that what I want? No, no, that's not quite what I want. I want, what do I want? I want to edit room. Ah, here we are, okay. Let's add some more, uh, add some more space to the gym. And yeah, we can do it like this. And then that means we're going to have to move, oh no, the door to like over, oh, I can't go there can go there and um yeah let's uh we can now put a climbing wall in there i guess climbing wall yes please and i'm gonna pop it here we could have two next to each other couldn't we that'll look good done brand new climbing wall in the gym and unpause you're welcome. You're welcome, everybody. Okay, there's still some issue here, isn't there? What is this? Oh, I think it's just people getting, um, there's people getting, like, congestion in the doorway here. To be able to get where they're trying to go. Right, how are we doing on the dormitory rating? It's improved a little, but it could be better. So, just while we're low on space, I am gonna, I'm gonna just kind of grow this door a little bit that is and then um just kind of just add some more beds or add a a more bed um one of these and one of these and a and we can kind of move this back and um that's a level four dorm 
little better. What else can what else can we add in this room? Hmm. <laughs> oh, the usual. The usual. Like that. And like that. And hand sanitizer. Like oh we've already got one of those. That's that's more than we need. Plant. Like that. Okay. Dormitory rating creeping up slightly there. Okay, not sure about the feng shui of that building, Jane. Yeah, I know. It, if I was playing this not on the stream, I would be doing a lot more boring kind of just like thinking and not playing. But um, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna make you guys watch me think. I don't wanna watch me think. So yeah, it's a little, little messy. But you know, we will, we will see worse. We've seen worse planned buildings than this. For instance, these vending machines are just stuck in the middle of nowhere because I deleted the marketing department. So let's tidy these over here. Like that. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Crazy taxi machine wanted. Right. Where are we going to fit this? Oh, I was going to build a student union, wasn't I? That was my, that was my big plan. The big plan. Okay. Well, I will find a way. I'll find a way. Uh, crazy texture machine can either live in the corridor. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live in the corridor. Except. Right. Right. We need to raise the dormitory rating. We need to do a bunch of research. research. Yes, thank you. Research. Oh, the bar. We're still researching the bar. Oh, okay, that's slow going. I guess if I had more researchers or better researchers, this would go better. I also need to train three staff members. So let's let's train up a staff member. Uh, let's start training someone. Um, mm -mm. Mac. I would like you to train in uh, private tuition, then we'll have another private tutor. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> George McKay says, we've seen worse planned buildings, then immediately references her poorly planned snack machines. Hey, I didn't put those snack machines there. They were there when I arrived. NASA put those snack machines there. Uh, Ellery J says, I'm late. Has she put up the ox statue? You know what, I haven't. Um, I'm playing, this is basically a, a sort of, uh, a preview build. I don't know. Do I have the statue? Do I have? I'm sure if I do. Mm, maybe not. Might figure that. I um, might figure that out in a second. Okay. Research project finished. Finito. That means we can start a new project. Something that's going to make us lots of money. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. Okay. This one. This one comes with money. Start. Great. Um, we still need to make the dormitories much, much nicer. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, build more dormitories and increase, increase their prestige to improve satisfaction ratings. Okay, um, well, I'm gonna need more space. I could increase the size of this campus but extend it out this way, couldn't I? Hmm. 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 A little bit more room here. I could add another dorm building here, couldn't I? Let's try that. It's gonna be a mixed-purpose uh, building. And oh, oh, there we go. And a bed. And another wardrobe. And a bed. And a bedside table. Bedside table. There's a bedside table. I know there's a bedside table somewhere. Bedside, there we go. Unlock this please. Unlock a bedside table. And a bed. A different kind of bed. No, the same, same kind of bed. Matching kinds of beds. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, I don't like that. It's not against the wall. Okay, fine. We got it, we got it. We got there folks. And, um, oh, don't cancel. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. 
And you know what else we could have? Is the double jump bed, which is, oh, very large and very romantic for our most romantic astronaut students. Which only, ju only just squeezes into the, oh, okay, maybe it doesn't. Okay, no, it doesn't fit in here at all. I'm gonna have to get rid of this one. Goodbye, non-romantic bed. And um, here we go. Now, you might say there's not enough privacy in this dorm for a romantic double bed, uh, but Two Point Campus disagrees. So, so how about that? I'm gonna put up some windows and some desks. We need some study desks, don't we? For a study bedroom. One, two, and three. And some decor, some flare, and a pin board, and some hand sanitizer. Oh, 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 there we go. And, um, mm -mm -mm. just a cozy rug. And a kitty poster. Cool, all right. That's gonna improve the dormitory rating to 78%, which is not bad. We're getting there. <laughs> Duke Rave in the chat in a reference to our Halloween Hello Stream stream of Seventh Guest says, Is that the sex bed from the Seventh Guest? It kind of is, um, you know, but sort of less filthy if you caught that Hello Stream uh, stream. Right, 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 right. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, the library is extremely crowded. That's good, it's busy. It means everyone's everyone's studying hard. Inbox. Digital computer required. Is there any other kind of computer? Um, okay, we're doing a different research program at the moment, so we can't do that right now. But we can. Can we unlock this? An astro respirator. We can't afford it. Ah oh, man. Pull up bar. Can't afford it. Oh no, have I burned through my... Oh, I've nearly burned through my loan. I've only got like 2,000 bucks left. Oh, boo. Okay, the open day was a great success. Well, that's something. Health inspection was good. Um, okay, I can afford a spacesuit rack. That's good. That's promising. Let's put a spacesuit rack in the anti-gravity uh, training room. There we go. Very nice. Campus leveled up. And... Is there anything else we can afford? Digital computer? No. Sci-fi film? No. Astro respirator? No. Pull-up bar? No. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Alright. We've got money problems, everybody. Welcome to the space program. <laughs> where we can't afford a pull-up bar. Uh, but we are eventually going to get back to the moon. How's that research? How's the research going, everyone? I could really use the money. Oh, we're nearly halfway there on the research program. Dormitory rating creeping up, but still not 85%. Average B plus grade in astrology. Dipped once again. We're on a C plus. Okay. 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 I could take out another crushing loan. Which would be good for the stream, but bad for my game. <laughs> Analog computers are a thing, they use them back in World War II to do some targeting. They're real cool but rare these days, says Alex Dupay in the chat. Oh, okay, well, more more for me. Analog computers. Uh, Donovan Webb says, funny story, analog computers are probably the future of computing. Tell me about that, speak on that. What What is an analog computer that's the future of computing? I was reading something the other day about computers based on slime mold. Is that, a, is that what we're getting at? Is it a slime mold based computer? Lindsay A in the chat says, Family and I love watching you, especially my little X-Men, Xavier. Ironically, I think his superpower is super speed. Aw. Hey, Lindsay. Thanks for watching. Glad you're joining us. Okay. Underfunded research station. The realism in this game is unreal. Yeah. Yeah, right. There's simply no money to do the research. 
But once I, I think once we get through Dud Moon, we'll we'll have um we'll have a bit more money to spend on things. And until then, I just need the students to not get too mad at me. Um, while I fail to provide them the facilities they need. Like this person who really, really wants, um, what is it? Anti-gravity training astro respirator. All right, hurry up. I've got like 44 time units left. Okay. Teacher required with cosmic expansion. All right, hang on. Pause, pause, pause. Let's find a teacher with um, cosmic expansion. Or I could take a teacher who already has... Uh, no, we probably need more, don't we? Trevor Dobson is good at inspirational speaking and also cosmic expansion. Sounds good. Sounds expensive. But, um, you know, you get what you pay for. So, there you go. Oh. A mayoral visit? I accept. A financial statement will not read. Okay, unpause. Unpause, everybody. Ah, Rory in the chat says, analog computers are amazing at one super specific task. Tom Scott did a video fairly recently. Oh, that's cool. I'll check that out after the stream. Sounds good. Yeah, Anonymous says, analog computers tend to be much more optimized for their tasks, but conversely, less versatile and not really able to do anything else. All right. Oh, and Alex Dupay says, my watch is an example of a mechanical or analog computer. It tells time, date, month, year. They're more purpose built and not as versatile as something like a digital watch. Okay, interesting, interesting. I think I'm getting it now. Madness in Living Colour in the chat says, just got back from a snack. Has crippling debt set in yet? I mean, I have debt and it is somewhat crippling, but I didn't take out a second loan. And now I've got lots of money, look. I wasn't paying attention to the game and now I've got 70,000 bucks. So let me quickly pause because I don't want this person to storm out of campus. And then let's go to our messages. Um, now I can plan a sci-fi film screening. Yes, book that event. I can also add an astro respirator to the anti-gravity training room. I like this. Eh. Uh, eh. And I can also, also, also. Oh, I need to research the digital computer. But yeah, why not? Let's research that. Green light fee, 1,000 bucks. Rewards? Oh, cool. There's a bunch of like, it's a bunch of retro computing equipment, including like a super beige monitor. I love it. Um, oh, I don't have any stuff with the, uh, the power of internet history. Can I get any? Do any of you have that? No, I would have to train someone with it. Okay, well, let's do that then. Um, Unpause. Let's go to training. Let's start training. Uh, 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 uh. Let's train a teacher. Let's train Percy Rainbow. Can I train Percy in internet history? Yes, there we go. Start training. Cool. All right. Once once he's trained up, then we can, um, we can do another research project. Wow, the chat is all over the analog computer chat. Um, Detritus23 says the Mark IV fire director in US battleships are analog computers that use gearing ratios to do the various ranging and lead lead calculations. Sorry. Um, cool. Feathers Flight says crippling isn't a great word, FYI. Hmm. No, oh, thanks, for, thanks for sharing that. I actually I hadn't thought of it that way. I only thought of it in a sort of idiomatic way. But of course, of course you're right. All right, all right. Um, how are we doing? Monthly profit. Okay, we're in the black. And statement. Fine. Cosmic expansion open date. Yes. How are we doing? Still, tr still trouble with our average B plus grade in astrology. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. How are you doing? In the OX Discord, the OX Sports Club Discord, the official Discord of Outside Xbox and Outside Extra. You can check it out at patreon.com slash oxclub. The official Discord in the live stream hangout area says, will Jane be screening the brain that wouldn't die? That does seem like the kind of film that they would screen on my campus because it's public domain, I assume. Nice and free. <laughs> um, Baddy Wrong says, oh no, Jane's here, look and listen. Yeah. Angel Beat says, oh hi Jane, we're behaving for now. 
I can scroll back. I can see all the things you said. All right, there's no nowhere to hide from me. Oh. Oh no, Angel Beat says Dicebreaker's YouTube stream isn't working, so no modding for me. Oh no, sounds like they're having trouble over on, on Dicebreaker. Hope that, hope that is sorted soon. All right, Max says I'm just living my best life. <laughs> Ali says I mean hi. Fernando says I love you, Jane. Okay. Penguin got mad says just enjoying the chill vibes. Good. That's what we're aiming for. In fact, in fact, you know what? Since I haven't used her uh, at all in this stream. Let's have Big Jane for a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I say, I say that. Let's pause. And let's just, let's just take a second. And, um, and hydrate. Oh, and I didn't realise that my mug was going to keep like this, but there we go. Mmm. We've got 15 minutes left. And in the last 15 minutes, I'm going to play some more Two Point Campus, obviously. But I would also like to remind you that we are selling our first ever hoodie. store as of like two hours ago okay so uh what else does big j need to tell you right i'm going to in fact i'm not gonna do it right now i'm gonna play more of the game if you stick around at the end of this stream right it will flow you automatically like magic into the waiting page for the next episode of Oxventure D&D, which goes live in about three hours. It goes live 8 p.m uk time it is called what is it called ballot time episode eight of our current season of D and D episodes, right? Goodbye, Big Jane. Let's go back to regular size Jane, and let's play some more Two Point Campers. Right, space rocks. Be mined for money. Good. Uh, we've we've mined all fifteen of them now. Dormitory rating still a little low. Uh, research is okay. Let's let's do some let's do some more research. Um, what's going to be useful? Cosmic power wash. I kind of want, I want research that'll make me money. Any of those? Any of you? Mm -mm. Okay, this one will make me 25 grand. Now, I said I wanted a student union. I'm really tight on space right now. Ha! Space. Oh wait, um, yeah, if I just train three more staff members then I get this plot, so I just I just need to keep training people. Let's train some more people. Okay, Percy Rainbow has training scheduled, but is presumably too busy to get involved right now. Or is Percy being scheduled for, uh, trained right this second? No, 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 no. Start training. Um, I would like Tobias to train in private tuition because that might bring up the astrology grades and who else I would <laughs> I'd like Sebastian White to train in cosmic expansion which will up his game all right get on with that everybody I want to make some progress oh there's a huge queue for private tuition Hmm. We should make some more private tuition offices. Okay, let's duplicate this. And can we, yeah, pop it in there. There's another private tuition room. And hey, if you're waiting, if you're waiting for your private tuition session, you know what you need is a space bench. So I'm gonna tuck a little space bench in there there and anywhere else it's not going to be in the way maybe one here and that's a level 14 caps everybody well done well done everybody oh and well done to making it to friday you've done another week and also it's december which is if you think about it the friday of the year so it's a double Friday. It's your first double Friday of 2022. You've nearly made it to 2023. Look at us. Can you believe, can you believe we're here? 
Um, I'm proud. I'm proud of us. So well done. Well done, everybody. Hi. 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 Um. Mm -mm. Oh, Herman Wong in the chat says, Jane, I see you visited the Natural History Museum recently. I did. I did. I posted about it on Instagram and also I talked about it on the Oxventure podcast. Um, Herman says, I hope you enjoyed the campus next to it. Yeah, it's the, um, the Imperial College. The Imperial College London campus or part of it is right tucked behind like the Science Museum and the Natural History Museum. I assume that's the one you mean. It looks very cool. In fact, I, I nearly, nearly went to Imperial College. That was, that was, um... That was on my maybe list. It was very cool. And it would have been cool to be a student in London, but also, I assume, extremely expensive. Right, what was I doing? What was I doing? Okay, well done. We've got a B plus grade in astrology, I assume because we've got more private tuition going on. We've got an average dormitory rating of 85% plus, which I'm not sure what I did to deserve that. And we just need to make a whole bunch more money, a whole buttload more money from research. Uh, our campus requirements. Right, we finished the school year. Gosh, I didn't even notice that happening. We're going to need another anti-gravity chamber. We're going to need a lecture theatre. We're going to need a rocket lab, which tells me what we really need is more space, which means we need more people to do their bloody training. <laughs> I mean, if we just keep the school year running into the, I guess, the summer period, then the teachers will come and get their training. So I encourage everyone to go and get their training. Oh, clubs! I haven't done any clubs! There's a whole a whole kind of facet of this game that I have not touched in the stream, which is like student clubs. Um, let me add one. Let me add one right now. Because that might be seriously hampering uh, my students' ability to have fun. Do we have any new any new clubs? Maybe not. Speed walking wheel. There's a nap club, which I quite like. The power nap club. I can put a station for the power nap club there. That would be nice. I, I don't know. I just love the idea of having a club that's entire purpose is to advocate for more naps. I think that's really wholesome and positive. And then there's a book club. Uh, book club. We need something for like beginner book club. Um, yeah book club bookworm dealy now these can live outside actually so let's put outside where we've got a bit more space there we go it's like a student society or club if you prefer awm perry says incidentally the best way to get full marks in astrology is not to take astrology so uh yeah burn astrologers Someone's staffing the hot dog stand, which tells me we're probably low on assistance. Um, Vera, how do you feel? She's got excellent personal hygiene. I feel like she'll do well on the hot dog stand. Research is ongoing. Training is going... Why is training not... Why is training not happening? Is it because everyone's too busy to do their training? Because that sounds... That sounds reasonable. That sounds like something that would happen. Well, I can kind of force it a little bit by just like hiring someone and sending them directly to training. So like, for instance, Pete Curious. If I drop you in, can I drop you in here? Tra oh, training's not allowed during the summer break. Well, that's why this isn't working because like they're waiting for a new school year to start and no training can happen. Also, this campus is bloody filthy. <laughs> oh, I didn't put a bin down. Oh, what an idiot. What an idiot. I didn't put any bins around here. That's on me. Everybody, that's my fault. That's Jane's fault. Blame campus boss Jane. She didn't put any bins anywhere. So you had no choice but to throw your throw your trash all over the floor. Okay. Alright. Guess it has been a while since I played Two Point Campus. I forgot rule number one, which is just like bins everywhere. Oh no oh wow. I already took my eyes off the prize here. You filthy, slobby students with your stinky bed. This bed! This bed, the Febreze. 
<laughs> the Febreze did nothing. This one bed is our problem bed and it's real stinky. Okay. Um, can we like call a janitor to deal with this bed, please? Can I just sell it and buy a clean one? That's probably a thing, isn't it? Sell bed, buy clean bed, problem solved. Hey, I think I've just discovered a life hack. <laughs> it's called buy a new one, don't ever clean. Um, it may not, it may not suit everybody. Uh, right, managed courses. Uh, let's go for level three astrology. Um, I guess we could go for level four cosmic expansion, but I feel like that's gonna inc that's gonna require a lot more campus facilities. I do not have the space or the resources for right now, so I'm gonna kind of gonna set my sights kind of a little bit lower, and I am gonna need these things. Like, hmm. I can't get this plot without doing training, so I guess I'm just gonna have to start the school year. Yeah, I know there are unresolved campus requirements, but it's a catch-22. I can't train staff members to get a plot without starting the school year. And if I start the school year, I don't have all the campus stuff that I need. So, uh, hell with it. Let's start the school year. Um, okay. I'm immediately seeing a lot of, a lot of problems. I've got 73 days to <laughs> build an anti-gravity chamber or the universe will, university will probably be shut down. Um, okay, 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 pause, pause. Life is coming at me way too fast. If I were to build another training room, I could get training done faster. Let's build another training room. How are we doing for time? Oh, wow, it's nearly six o'clock. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit long because I really want to, I really want to unlock this plot. So let's, let's say we, let's say we do that. Let's say we gotta get that done. Um, hmm. Wow, well, I miss when you could just spend money on plot. <laughs> Look, here comes someone to get trained. Hopefully that'll be fast. And because we, we're on the clock. We've got a countdown of about 67 days. How you doing, dude? Is your training coming along? Kinda. Okay, slowly. Maybe I can increase the, the training power of this room by adding some things. Um, does anything, does any of you guys make training happen faster? Oh yeah, learning monitors, yeah, training monitors. If I can find somewhere to put them on the wall. There we go. All right, train faster. There we go. Did that help? He's like halfway there. How's the trash problem? It's getting better. I think it's getting better. Chris Calvert says, this has been a great time and I'm glad to see Jane Creed play two point again. And what is this, overtime? Yeah, this is overtime. This is extra time. Um, because I really wanna just, I wanna really wanna grab this bit. Look at this fountain. Look at this space shuttle fountain. Oh That's incredible. One year I went to, um, I went to Kennedy Space Center as a tourist. Not as an astronaut, unfortunately. And at Christmas, um, they had this like big NASA bauble. I think the rest of the year, it's just like a big NASA sphere that says NASA on it, but they kind of dress it up so it looks like a big Christmas bauble at Christmas. Um, it was, it was lovely. It was a lovely conjunction of space stuff and Christmas stuff that I enjoyed. Yeah, claim my rewards, always. Give me my flowers. Statement, accept, open day report, fine, fine, fine. Okay, we've got 42 days left, how are we doing? Uh, where's my trainee? Are you getting trained? Slowly, so slowly. Do you not have an aptitude for training? Is that the problem? I feel like that might be the problem. Okay. Okay, well this is a pickle. How big the training rooms need to be? I could fill the secondary training room. Uh, they need to be 4x4. Four four. Oh, that's not. Mm, I won't fit there. That's not too big. I don't have anywhere else I can fit one, I don't think. Eh, eh. Mm, I, 
could expand the building, couldn't I? I could do that. Yeah, we could do that. Could increase the size of the building. Uh, add to building. I'm gonna have to move some of this stuff, aren't I? Pick that up. Put it over here. Pick this up. Put it over here. Okay. Uh, pick this biodome up. Okay, we've had one... Okay, you know what? There's no point doing this now because we only need one more dude to get trained. And where is our dude? Because I know I scheduled that training. Uh, okay, one of these one of these guys. Tobias or Sebastian. Hurry! Where's my trainee? In fact, if I pick, pick said trainee up, they'll get here faster. Uh, 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 uh. Staff training. I think yours is first, isn't it? Tobias, where are you? You're late. Let's go. Let's search for Tobias. Uh, it's this guy, isn't it? Tobias, pick you up. Send you for training. What do you do that? Staff already. Tra oh. Oh, sorry, did I interrupt? Did I interrupt someone else's dream? Okay, well, the janitor's working on it anyway. I'll tell you what we can do while we're um, against the clock. 12 days left. Oh no. Did we ever fix the bed? Oh yeah, we did fix the stinky bed. I just bought a new one. Mm -mm. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't feel like we're going to get it done in nine days. Okay, oh, this guy. Oh, Sebastian, Sebastian White. Okay, he's already done like one third of his training, so maybe. Can we get there in six days? I don't know that we can. All right, what else can I put in this room to make training happen a lot faster? Um, I, uh, oh, he, he did it. Was that it? Are you trained? That was quick. Yes? Yes? Or did you just decide to take a break? Okay, all right, pause. We've run out of time. I mean, we've run out of time and then also it sort of reset the clock. So um, I guess I'm in trouble, but ongoing trouble. Oh, I think because he was, he was required elsewhere. So he, um, he, he just did a spot of training and didn't come back. Can I like, Grab him. Can I grab him, Sebastian? Sebastian White. Would you mind not taking a break right now and just doing some more training for me, please? Or is it that they're taking time? Is that a thing? Yes, Sebastian, get back in that training <laughs> throne. Sandon Bandara says, damn you, Tobias, come here and learn. Learn, Tobias. Someone's got to learn. Oh no, the average dormitory rating is, ah. This is exactly what happened last year, isn't it? Okay, fine. Um, I took in more students and didn't add any more dormitories. But in my defense, that is because um, I don't have any space for more dormitories. Hang on, let me pick this up. Put this here, pick this up. I'll put that there. What I can do is maybe like expand this dormitory just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like we can give it just a little bit, a little bit more space. And then, oh, not like that. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Put the door there and that will allow me to place a few more beds which is kind of like, you know, a stopgap solution. And there we go. Just a few more beds. One, two, and then a wardrobe. There we go. One there. <laughs> One there. Okay. And some, you know, decorative thingies. Some... Um, ah, uh, uh, some, I said, some decorative thingies, like, I don't know, a hat rack, 
Would you enjoy that? Any fancy hat rack? Posters? Any um, pinball? Oh, you got one of those. You don't want one of those. Some more hand sanitizers. There you go. Plant. Fine. Purple rugs. One for you. One for you. And why not one for you? One for you. One for you. Okay. I think I think that'll do. I think that's good. Okay, let's unpause. Maybe everyone will chill out a bit about my terrible dormitories now. Yeah, it's like 71%. Okay, training is ongoing. Right, we're six minutes past the hour. I feel like we can get the second plot unlocked in the next five to ten minutes. So if you want to hang on with me, we'll get that plot unlocked. Here he is, Sebastian, having his brain filled with knowledge about cosmic expansion. And, and, here we go. That's our third person train. Eh. Sorry, fumbling that. Um, great, we did it. We did it, which means this plot is now ours. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. So when they said you can have this plot with buildings, what they mean is like, regular boring campus buildings not the exciting space shuttle fountain but hey i'll take it if it gives me the space i need i'll take it look there's a campus building port number two we did it everybody we did it why is everyone so mad at me oh right it's because uh <laughs> it's because of the stuff i haven't done all right fine 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 just so we don't end the stream with everyone mad at me. Let's just real quick build an anti-gravity chamber. In fact, I'll do it by just like copying this one. And yikes, that's so big. That's such a big one. Do I not have enough money for it? Is that the problem? Because if that's the problem, then this may not be something that happens in this stream. Hang on. Um, anti-gravity chamber. Can't build on a plot you don't own. Oh, you know what's going on here is because the scaffolding hasn't finished coming up, it means I don't fully own it yet. Okay. Everybody chill out. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna fix it. Okay, here we go. Now, I think what I'm gonna need to do is start by making this campus building a lot bigger because what a waste of space all this grass is. Like so, yes. Um, yeah, sell whatever, it's fine. And then I'm gonna copy this and um, find somewhere to fit it. Like that kind of works. Is that a waste of space? That feels like a waste of space. I can kind of put it there. Is that better? It's a little better. Okay, fine. We've got an anti-gravity chamber. We need a lecture theater and a rocket lab. Let's just copy and paste this lecture theater over here. Does that fit? Not super well. Mm -mm. Okay, let's let this building finish building itself. How big is the plot that I just got? Do I have all of this as well? Yes, I do. Okay, so I can build more building here, which is fine. Um, now I want this lecture theatre. I'm going to build that. I'm going to copy it, put it over here. Like, yeah, like that, I guess. Oh, wait, was that? Oh, that was a terrible idea. I've got to move the door now. Uh -oh. Okay, okay, forget that. It's too hasty. It was much too hasty. Let's um, let's try that again. Put it somewhere else. Put it somewhere more sensible. Somewhere where the door is accessible. Like that. Wait, did I do that again? Oh, okay, so it's a window in the wrong place. That's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. Put the window over here instead. Done, lecture theatre, and finally we need a rocket lab. I'm gonna just grab you and, oh, it's not letting me, I guess I can't just copy paste that. So let me build a quick rocket lab and then we'll call it a day on this space campus. So, oh, or is it a money thing? But it's a bloody money thing, isn't it? No, once again, the space program foiled by underfunding. If only I was some kind of crazy millionaire. Sorry, did I say millionaire? I meant to say billionaire. You can't make a space program with a million. Boo, rocket lab. Anyway, 
I got the plot. I'm gonna pause now so people don't get mad at me before I can build them a new rocket lab. But we did okay. I think we did okay, considering. I mean, not even considering, I think we did pretty good. Let's, um, I'm gonna treat myself to, to a big Jane to say goodbye to everybody. Right. Rick Sweeney says, quickly, get another loan. Who sent you, Rick Sweeney? Was it the loan sharks? I know better. I know better than to take out another crushing loan. Right. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's 11 past the hour, so we've gone a little long. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, thanks for watching me play Two Point Campus Space Academy DLC. It comes out next week. Uh, don't forget, we've got a hoodie. If you stay tuned, if you stick around as I end this stream, you will be flowed automatically into our next D&D episode, which goes up in two hours time. So you've got two hours to go and, I don't know, live your life, sort out your dinner, and then come back and watch uh, watch us play D&D. And that's, that's everything. That's pretty much all I've got to say for right now. Thank you for making it to Friday and to December, which is the Friday of the year. And um, yeah. That's everything. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have yourselves a lovely rest of your Friday. Stay chill and stay hydrated, okay, everybody? See you next time. Bye.